okay so we're gonna start on uh, the nesting if statement now what I mean by that is having an if statement inside an if statement so we're gonna continue with that example here okay we use the same um, program so we said if 5 is greater than 1 so we we'll put another if here put a capital equals equals to a capital so obviously that's true as well so that will open another curly brace and uh, now that we're saying yes 5 is greater than we'll take this out and we'll put that on here because that's true yes 5 is greater than 1 so that's true and now here what we're going to say yes uh, a is equal to is equal to a and so that's that's true so that one's true so that will execute and if this was false it won't print this at all but it's true therefore it would print yes a is equal to a if we made that b it would skip that part and would exit the program and that's it it's finished it would print just that line but because this is also true it will now print this and that's what a nested um, if statement is we're going to just quickly save that save as we're going to call it nest nest if and we're going to quickly build oh we've got an error oh we've got, got that, forgot that squiggly bracket somewhere uh, yes that's it so we open that we've opened this we've closed it once we need to close it twice so we close it twice and now we build yep finished we go to the command prompt here we go and we call this one nest if and it says yes 5 is greater than 1 yes a is equal to a thank thanks for asking and that's it finished and that's that program out of the way we're gonna write it in an alternative way remember we, we mentioned the logical operators we could have done it slightly different so let's just write it in a slightly different way now we're gonna ignore that bit there's no point in having this one there anymore so we're gonna start with if statement again and this time we're gonna write it all in one single line so say 5 is greater than 1 and remember the AND sign remember how we did that one before and also what we want to for this to execute we want its A to also equal A so that in the nested if statement we want it to you know to be combined together so we don't want one or the other we want both to be true and one not equal to zero which is obviously <laughs> true again so we've got three different three different uh, conditions that need to be met for this condition to um, statement to execute so obviously that's true so we're gonna open up and we're gonna say yes uh, we're gonna print F and yes the condition is all true and that's that part out of the way so let's save that one and we're gonna call that one quick if quick if yeah and let's see if that would compile yes it compiles and let's build it here we go so now we go to command prompt again oh it seems like we've closed it so we can just um, click on here and command prompt is there cd slash cd again uh, c examples and we called it quick and it says yes the condition is all true 
so that part is also done now so we, now we've looked at the quick quick if and now we're going to do a quick if else statement so we're going to use exactly the same structure here except we're going to change a couple of more things here okay so we're going to write first of all we're going to have to declare a couple of variables so we're going to declare num to be equal to 2 and we're going to have bool equals to 0 just going to quickly write quickly write the conditions so that's the first one here num equals is has to identical to, to 2 yes it is that's true bool uh, it, that's not true because that's 0 it has to be a 1 so a bool is always 0 so that test it says it's untrue so we're going to try another test we're going to say if again num equals 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 to 2 and what do you think what should what should we do for this to be true so we're going to say not we're going to use the not not bull so we close that and that one's obviously printf this the second or we should call it the second the second test is true line now just to do another um, test here we're going to put another if statement uh, I just forgot something here so this is if we could have just done if and if and if and then the correct one would uh, execute that's one way of doing it but here we're, we're doing the if, uh, else if and um, if else statement so we're going to say else if this is true um, and it would execute that instead okay and we can say else if again same thing uh, this time we're going to say num equals equals to 2 and bull equals equals to 0 and here is something strange now that statement is also true okay so what happens here so obviously because we've executed the one before it third we're gonna just quickly finish this statement and then why am I saying it's unreached hmm. I'll explain that to you in a minute and maybe we can also put an else else and we just open this one and we say print f none of the tests are valid okay so that's an else by itself as well so let's start okay so we said if num equals equals identical to 2 which is true yes and bool we, well, obviously that's false, so that test fails. Else if num is identical to two, yes it is. Bull is, is not bull, okay? So yes, because it's a zero, so that's true. So that one will print out the second test is true. Else if we say here, uh, if this is false and this is false, then ec then go to this. But obviously that one's just came true so that will execute and it will ignore the rest of the code however if we assume that this was also untrue then we come here and it actually says bull equals zero you know it is equality to zero which is true it would have executed this but assuming this also was false and and all this was false then it the last thing it would do would just say look you know none of the tests above are true so we'll just print this and it will ignore all that it won't execute any of these printf statements here so let's just test that okay so we called it if else test okay so we just test that now if else test and it says the second test is true so it, it, it basically went through the conditions and it found this one true and it stopped there and it printed this line okay